Hello everyone, in this quick tech video, I'm going to show you how to use the Snip and Sketch application in Windows 10. In the lower left search bar, we're going to start by typing in Snip. And here we see the Snip and Sketch application. For ease of access and to be able to use it more frequently, I'm going to pin this to the taskbar by right clicking it and saying pin to taskbar. And now it's shown up here. To start the snipping process, I first need to open the window I wish to snip. In this example, I'm going to use the Google Chrome homepage. From here, I'm going to open up the Snip and Sketch application. Here at the New, we have a drop down menu where we can snip now or set a time delay of 3 or 10 seconds. This is useful if I would not have the window open that I wanted to snip. But since I already have the window open, I'm going to say Snip Now. As I can see, I have a new bar up here at the top asking which type of snip I wish to do. On the left, the rectangular snip will allow me to drag the cursor in a rectangle around an object by left clicking and holding down the left mouse button. The free form allows me to draw my cursor in any shape around an area by left clicking and holding down the left mouse button while I draw around the area. The window snip will let me select one of my active windows by simply clicking on it. And the full screen snip will capture your entire screen. Note that when using a full screen snip, if you have multiple monitors, it will capture both monitors. In this case, I'm going to use Rectangular Snip. And I have a crosshair. I'm going to start by left clicking and highlighting the image that I wish to snip. Once I have snipped the object, I can begin making changes to it using the toolbar at the top of the Snip and Sketch application. The first option of touch writing will allow me to freely write on the snip section. I can choose the pen type of a ballpoint pen, a pencil, or a highlighter. And by holding down left click, I can choose the color or the size of the line that I wish to draw. The eraser option, I can erase everything that I've done, or if I made a mistake in one of the lines, I can click Erase and click on the item I wish to erase. The Ruler option will allow me to draw a straight line using the highlighted pin option. Or I can use a protractor and draw curved lines or a whole circle. The tools in the upper right bar would allow me to zoom in, save, copy, share, or by clicking the three dots you can see more options. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more quick tech how-to videos.